That's the question again. Right, and fans who were here for the uh, Bradford Bulls game on Sunday will see the work that's going on the pitch. Shall we explain uh, what, what's happening? Yeah, sure. So, um, as people may or may not have seen, we had uh, an event on January the 7th uh, for Leeds 2023, the Awakening, uh, which in involved a, 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 a decent portion of the pitch being uh, covered uh, and a large stage being erected and uh, dismantled, which I think as well as a club we should be applauded for having because I, I think it was great for the city to have and, and great for the club to have and it, and it was a great event. So just from that, we're just having to repair at the moment and with the intricacies of the, the surface that we have, uh, here at uh, here at Headingley Stadium, with being fibre sand, the options to us for recovery are slightly narrowed. But unfortunately, the rainfall that we had have, uh, had around that time as well as has taken effect, so we're having to re recover from that as well. Uh, but in the lead up to uh, the whole whole FC game, our first home game of the season, I would be highly confident that we will we will be in a lot better place uh, with the hard work from from my department and the club itself. And you can see from the area that was closest to the south stand that, that has recovered well with the use of uh, the lighting rigs that whatever, whatever you're able to roll across from that will, will improve the situation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, with it, without the lights, um, we we uh, we won't be able to go grass at this time of year. Uh, rye grass obviously it, it, it struggles to germinate at winter. We're looking at sort of. Um, half a degree or, or one degree Celsius for any sort of movement, movement within ryegrass. But within modern stadia, they're used all around the world without and we, we won't be able to grow the grass. So 100%, uh, yeah. Uh, and in terms of the surface itself, it's, it, whilst it uh, doesn't look at its best at the moment, it's still playing, uh, playing well for the, for the guys. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, after gauging feedback from uh, coaches and players and, and things like that yesterday, absolutely fine. Um, we've We've had to... And by myself especially, we, we've had to deal with situations like this uh, over the last few uh, few years certainly and especially in the years before the new pitch. So it actually played really well. Uh, aesthetically, obviously, it doesn't look the best, but the uh, the sand is on there for a reason and, that, and that's to create a, a, a firm, stable surface for us to be able to play expansive uh, rugby league on uh, and to allow the seed, the best growing medium, uh, to germinate from so although it doesn't look great uh, granted but also as well I think we we maybe have to look back and, and we look at uh, other stadiums uh, around in the Premier League and things like that but we're not we're not comparing eggs for eggs there uh, but playability wise yeah it's, it was absolutely fine and this surface you mentioned it briefly there but this surface we have here which which we have because of the amount of uh, traffic that the, the pitch gets it's not a simple question of being able to, to re-turf it. That's that, that's not how this pitch works. No, I mean, you, I mean, you see that there's the, there's other stadiums that work off that model. Uh, unfortunately, our fibre sand technology that we have now is um, is is slightly old, so there isn't uh, really any option for us there to to re-turf with anything that's compatible to our surface. Uh, so we took the decision as a as a management team and as a club to um, stay with what we're doing uh, and and take this decision. And I think we'll be we should be in a lot better place come the come the whole FC game.